Hi, I'm Peter Mwaka. This is my fruit farming. I started in 1974, and these are very sweet. They are juicy, and this is my story. My journey began as a dream when I was uh, farming beans and beans. And then gradually, I first a first came to me who showed me uh, to go to citrus farming. Then at that time it was 1974. Then when we introduced the uh, citrus farming, he uh, just uh, listen to him because I wanted to uh, venture in to that farm. So first uh, 1974 we are growing maize and beans in, uh, between uh, the rows we planted these citrus. Then uh, it um, matures in uh, 1976 where we grafted the Mm, or oranges, uh, the first trees, 1976, where we grafted, and we waited for two years for them to grow. Then after two years, because we are waiting for the rain, they start flowering and they giving huge of oranges. We went on. They matured 1978, where we had to sell to the local market. Uh, by that time, we are selling at um, with a, a buck, whereby a buck were, were, was being uh, sold by um, for 585 shillings per buck. Then, gradually, after two years, we came to the weighing. Uh, uh, weighing by kilo. We, are, we started by two shillings per kilo. We went on after year to year, five shillings uh, per kilo. We went on seven shillings, then we come to ten shillings per kilo. Then 1986, I visited a friend of mine at uh, South Africa, Pretoria, where I visited the farm. Then after my holiday there, my friend took me to the farm of Horages, where I talked to the manager and uh, he gave me a fine. This fine, this court fine, it had four, uh, uh, four Zionists. And these are the Zionists where I put them into my court. Then my plight was at, uh, that night. After reaching to Nairobi, the, uh, in the morning, next day, I traveled home and I grafted. Then those uh, six trees are still there, whereby they grow and I, I, they had no market. People were buying orange from me, but those weeks were, they, were, they, were, they don't know where to take them. But gradually, somebody from City Park came and saw them. He took samples to the City Park. By that time, he sold them, then he came back. He started buying the fix now from me and the menorah. And um, when the market uh, 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 grows, I decided to put off, to wipe up, uh, out crops like maize and beans. I just expanded my citrus uh, farm where I have uh, 30 acres. I grow uh, fixier, 
which is this one on my left. These are the fixie. And also another priority, menorah. This now a menorah. So both of them grow in one uh, farm. So I, I went on. Uh, I had another uh, variety called smooth lemon. And uh, I have a lot, the lower farm. And uh, another variety, um, mm, yellow lime. I do grow yellow lime and uh, washing the navel without the orange without seed. Also, I have uh, Valencia with the seed. Those are those is, uh, type of oranges do, I do grow in my farm. The journey when I started, I ventured to the citrus which brings more money. El Vixibri has um, bring more money because it is sweeter than the local oranges. So I went to that side and I expanded the trees of uh, Vixie to and the menorah for 4,000 trees. That's what they hold in my farm. I extended the Vixie because it, it was it it was giving me more money than the, than the local oranges. Then and the consumers uh, uh, wanted um, the Vix than the local oranges. For the tree like this one, is menorah. When you are depending on uh, rainwater, you have one season. Then this one, this tree can give you uh, 250 kg when it if it is big as this one and when uh, i was selling depending rainwater then i introduced i introduced now uh, uh, irrigation where i put drip lines then i have all the fruits all the year round after i harvest this one i will go they will go another round and another round because I'm using irrigation. But if you have rainwater one season from June to August, but mine will go to December. When somebody wants to venture uh, you know, to um, citrus farming, he can start, if he's a new farmer, he can have a, have a piece of land for one hectare whereby one acre goes to one six uh, seedlings um, depending the um, measurement measurement is from a, a tree to tree is, is six meters five to six meters and from line to line six meters so somebody can start if it wants to be a, a commercial farming you can start with one, one hectare where you will plant uh, 160 trees. Then if he cares enough and he has water, he can start uh, um, uh, harvesting after two years because he has enough water to irrigate. But those who want, I have a nursery uh, and my nursery is being satisfied by the people of Kevis who came, who do fish the nursery and advise me accordingly how to care for the seedlings. One seedling, it is 500 shillings. Basically for one acre, you can have 400,000. This money will cater for seedling, um, controlling pests, and uh, or paying workers, then, and uh, what have you. In my experience, benefit of fruit farming, you can uh, have money all the time from the farm. Um, the money will help you to educate your kids, buying food. You cannot starve uh, because of food, because you can use that money and buy food uh, to eat. And For example, the trees I planted that early years, uh, they are giving me some fruits to eat and uh, they, can, they are keeping me in a, a good status where I can 
live a reasonable life. Even my grandchildren will depend on this farm if they have mind to, con to control it. In my experience, the challenges is lack of market we, when the, the fruits are planted on the uh, market, local markets, also controlling the pests and the, con and the weeding, those are the challenges I meet. The challenge is going to be um, addressed by having a good workers, well paid, they, and uh, people who know what to do. Like now I have a manager who is running the farm and uh, also uh, telling me where to uh, put on, on a new plantation, the hot trees to be right up. Is, we are doing that work. Going forward, a year to come, we can start exporting. Also, my generation, my, my sons and uh, grandchildren, they can have a plant of processing, uh, juice, fresh juice to take to the local markets, even to, to export because they will stand on a platform of my trees they, and if they uh, can use that opportunity they can expand even buying more lands to plant. That's not my story as a citrus farmer. What is your story as a farmer? Share it.